It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Candy fresh, come show love, get your shine on. It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you a dope artist in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Candy fresh, come show love, get your shine on. Candy fresh, candy fresh. It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you were those artists in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Candy fresh, come show love, get your shine on. It's that candy fresh, got the new now next. If you were those artists in the city, come on and get your shine on, get your shine on. Candy fresh, come show love, get your shine on. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Shakira, two times at the sweetest show in the Twin Cities. Now, we are here for the season finale of season five. This is a big deal. We have a lot of really dope things in store, a lot of amazing performances, um, so you do not want to miss this. You definitely want to stay tuned. Again, this is the sweetest show in the Twin Cities. I'm holding it down while Miss Anahita is out sick. Um, and so, again, we thank you all for watching. We want to thank our sponsors, the National Endowment for the Arts, and the amazing bands that you're going to see performing today. So... Get buckle in, tune in. This is Candy Fresh. the sweetest thing and yeah, it don't change if I had it my way you would know that you are you're the coffee that I need in the morning you're the sunshine in the rain when it's pouring won't you give yourself to me give it Just wanna see how beautiful you are. You know that I see it. I know you're a star. When you go, I'll follow. No matter how far. If like this. Just say. 
Best Part by Her and Daniel Caesar. It's one of my favorite songs. All right. Next one. Greg, you want to do the intro for the next song? All right. This next song that I'm going to be singing is an original song, and it is called Temptation. So enjoy. <laughs> about the way you look, it's more the way you hold your head instead. I find my pleasure in who we are when paired together, bonded forever, growing and ever, increasing in love for the better. Life is a gift God gave in these breaths I take, so with each intake of inhalation, my inspiration is the thought of how we relate. Baby, it's no mistake, I know what it's about. It's your you that makes us, your love is what shapes us, recreates us, and with each new day, I'm forced to convey while I'm feeling this way, so hear what my heart has to say. You bring out the best, and I wish I could find out how I fit in your picture. Framed by my lust for your figure. Converted into trust, now I'm with you. Now it's a life that I get to spend loving the love in my life and rapture in you. Captured by the words in the scripture, in Solomon's songs. You can never go wrong. In fact, I get you. You're the place where my heart belongs. You made the really be. Because of circumstances, you can already see that. It's good, though, very badly. We could fall very bad. 
cities where y'all at yeah uh uh blowing on the best boat Minnesota it's the Midwest coast Minnesota it's the Midwest coast Minnesota it's the Midwest coast hey welcome to the murder apple St. Paul, that's the murder capital. Where them kids will put a cap in you. So be cool when you want certain avenues. We them kids with an attitude. We just on a different latitude. Here it freeze, no palm trees. Zero degrees, but some bomb trees. Big trucks, no low riders. Don't get stuck, put on your snow tires. Put on your gloves, cause it's cold as ice. You show Cali love, we Minnesota nice. True, we like to get live too. See gang banging here, drive bys too. But no earthquakes, Minnesota the home where the Lakers first played. Yo, blowing on the best smoke, Minnesota. It's the Midwest Coast. Minnesota. It's the Midwest Coast. Minnesota. It's the Midwest Coast. What we doing? Blowing on the best smoke, Minnesota. It's the Midwest Coast. Minnesota. It's the Midwest Coast. Minnesota. Coast. 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 Yo, uh, back like I never left. Track bouncing like a 6'4 Chevrolet. Impala with the gold datings. Yo, I gotta give flowers to the coast, no hating. If I didn't love it here, I probably would. Pack my bag to move to Hollywood. But I'm putting on for my city. When I left, brought a little West Coast with me to the soda. Yeah, the Doja, and we got talent, we just need the exposure. Here it gets colder, so get your coats. We far from the coast, but I'ma get you close. Let's go, hey, blowing on the best smoke. Minnesota. It's the Midwest Coast. Minnesota. It's the Midwest Coast. Minnesota. It's the Midwest Coast. Hey, blowing on the best smoke. Minnesota. It's the Midwest Coast. Minnesota. It's the Midwest Coast. Minnesota. It's the Midwest Coast. Hey. Minnesota, Minnesota, y'all say it, Minnesota, this the Midwest coast, word, blowing on the best smoke, Minnesota, this the Midwest coast, Minnesota, this the Midwest coast, Minnesota, this the Midwest coast, hey, casual, confusion, yeah. Show who you 
questing us away. Brought them peace, put the guns away. Try to find some peace within yourself, my friend. Yeah, all in the nation. The country lets them crumbling down. Oh, 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 all in the nation. Who's gonna help us when we drown? What's up, everybody? We are back with the season finale of the Swedish show in the Twin Cities, Candy Fresh. I just got to watch an entire concert. Like, I felt like I was at a music festival. Like, it was absolutely amazing. The vibes were immaculate, and there was a whole lot of talent. So I'm really lucky to have a bunch of people on stage with me. Um, they all performed together at some point in some capacity. So we're just going to go through and get to know these lovely individuals. Uh, so first, I have Simone Brown. How are you doing tonight, lovely? Hi, I am doing well. And yourself? I am. No one ever asks me how <laughs> I'm doing when I do an interview. So thank you. Um, I'm doing really well. Thank you for asking. A little hungry, but that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> so first off, I just want to say phenomenal voice. Thank amazing. you. Amazing. You did an amazing job. You made the cover. Yeah, let's give her a round of applause. She sounded great. <laughs> You made the cover sound like it was your own, and then your actual song was absolutely amazing, too. I feel like there's a lot of strength behind your voice. It sounds very well, like you've been doing this for a while. So how long have you been singing? Oh, my goodness. Look, I have been singing since I was a child, banging pots and pans since I was a baby. <laughs> um, yeah, I grew, I grew up in a very musical family and went to musical schools. I went to a fine arts um, school that required you to play stringed instruments from kindergarten. I got there in second grade, so I picked up the violin, played piano, sang. Um, I remember one Christmas, I Santa gave me a CD, like a CD player, the one where you can, the portable one, mm -hmm. and so not a boombox, but it was just like the oh, a Walkman, a Walkman, something yeah, like that. Yeah, but I remember my dad took me to Target and got some CDs, and I you couldn't stop me. I was all around the house just singing, and yeah, loved it. Absolutely amazing. So you have a very musical background. Very dope that you play multiple instruments. Mm -hmm. So what um, what inspires your sound? Who inspires your sound? Mm. You know, I, so my taste in artists is very eclectic. I, in music, honestly, I, I love a lot, but I think it come, it came from my family just because very musical background and they're always my biggest supporters. And my, grew up doing music with my brother, sing, compose, record, um, performing. And so just, I have a, such a love for music and just want to continue to do that and share it with the world. I love it. And you're d very much a natural here on stage. You did your thing. So how often do you perform? And what's been your favorite live performance to date? Let's see. How often do I perform? I perform whenever I can. Um, whenever opportunities arise and present themselves, I like to do it. I've performed a couple times. Just, I mean, I've performed at the Carry Fest. If you ever heard of the Carry Fest, um, that was a long time ago. I just last weekend performed at the Ice House, and let's see, I performed a few times in Jamaica, and Amazing. which is awesome. Let's and give her a yeah. round of applause. She's international. <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. 
That's awesome. So I think that there's a different dynamic when you're performing in front of a band, right? Mm. So all performers like salute. I, I, I'm not a singer, but and y'all don't want to hear me sing. But it takes a, a certain level of courage. But I think the band just adds another lever, level even of vulnerability because everything is live, right? Mm. So w do you have a preference at all? You, you seem like a natural in front of a band, but do you have a preference when it comes to performing your own music? Um, do you, you know, do you prefer being in front of a live band, or do you like just going off the instrumental? 100% I prefer performing with a live band. I think it's just the vibes are 10 times better. You can really get into the music. It allows um, the different musicians to do a little thing on their own and make really make the songs their own instead of just singing from a track. So I pre definitely prefer 100% vibes. Vibes are up there when it's, when it's live. Yeah. And we got to see a collab with you two, and y'all y'all look like you've done this before because you sounded look, amazing together. Look, the Ice together. House last weekend. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, perfect. So that yeah. was the one for Candy Fresh. So talk to us about this collab and how y'all got together and decided to work together. I'm going to let you handle this one. Uh, well, this collab happened. We uh, got together with my guy, High Style Cal, just dropped a project called Time and Space. Mm. Originally, there's another artist on that song, but... Simone is just, you know, so dope that she came and filled in and did a great job on it. So the first time we did it was just uh, last week at the release party. So Wow, very yeah, cool. So I would have never guessed that. The chemistry, that yeah, yeah. We're going to have to definitely collab on something else. Yeah. So, yeah, that was the first time and the second time. Wow. Well, they did yeah. a phenomenal job, right, y'all? That was absolutely amazing. Yeah. So while you have the mic, sir, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell the folks what you do. My name is Tila Sean. Local Southside MC, been rapping. Legend. Rapping in the hood, yeah, thank you, thank you, yes. And I can tell, you're lyric, you are such a lyricist. Like, I, again, like I was saying earlier, I was sitting there and I'm like, it's painting a picture. I can see the scenes. I felt like I was listening to a movie on audio. So okay. you definitely are doing your thing and you're very good at it. Thank you. Yes, thank you. who are some artists that inspire you? Uh, well, I'm an old school artist, so I like. Uh, Legend. Yeah, yeah, I go back, uh, definitely rock him. Um, we gonna go back to, uh, you know, EPMD, you know, I'm on the, you know, more of the old school boom bap style, you know, yeah. some of y'all may never heard of these artists, but yeah. That'd be a shame if they didn't, but we'll, I yeah. won't put our audience on blast. Google, I heard Google. Them. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. So you were just at the Ice House, now yes. you're, you just blessed the, the Candy Fresh stage. What's yes. next for you? Uh, the next event I'm doing will be. Actually, my birthday will be coming up in, in November, so I'm trying to get an event for that, but uh, I'll be performing at the Acadia. They just reopened over on Cedar November 9th, so doing that with my guy Mike the Martyr and my guy Kama. But if anybody got some shows they want me to, to do out there, I'm ready. I love that. And yeah. one of the things that all of you said before we even started, y'all were like, we're hungry artists. And I love that y'all oh, are yeah. all willing and open to any performance. You're down to do it, you know? Most and it bad. shows, right? The, yes. work, the work ethic is going to get you all very far. So thank uh, you. Let's give him another round of applause as well. Thank you, thank you. Shout out to Bianca. Yes, shout out to Bianca. She was shouting you out the whole time, your whole performance. That's the, Very yeah, dope. My people. All right, so I'm moving over this way now. How are you doing tonight, sir? Well, I'd like to say that everything is really groovy. So I don't know if you've ever been told this, but I think you should be an uh, if you don't if you're not already a voice actor, an actor, radio something. You have a phenomenal voice, and it's very it stands out a lot. You ever get that? Well, uh, I've been dancing around and uh, trying to play, but if I ever get there, I'll let you know. All right, sounds good. We'll do a follow up interview soon. All right, so please go ahead and introduce yourself and tell everybody who I'm you are. I'm with the collective, with the band, the group, the ensemble, Casual Confusion. Yes, yes. Casual, can be, I love it, keep it casual. So that's amazing. It's and the way of the world, really. You know, yeah. you sit down at the family table, you're eating your peas and your mashed potatoes, and you say, well, did you hear about the bombs that went off today? How many people are there? It's terrible. We're right back to eating, you know. It's, uh, it's the way of the world, you know. You're not wrong about that. And that is a name that stands out. I'll never forget it. So how did y'all come up with that name? What did the brainstorming process uh, well look like? Well, like I said, the world is crazy. Things going on crazy. But sometimes we just um, go right back to what we're doing and only worry about what's happening. And um, maybe it's just a way of trying to escape all of the uh, crazy things that's going on. But we're here to try to pull everybody together and say, hey, man, let's show a little love to my brethren and to my sister. Yes. And by the way, you look fabulous this evening, Thank sister. you. Uh, so do you. Thank you. Thank you. So, okay, you said that this is this kind of pulls you away from the confusion of the world. Would you say that music is your escape? Absolutely. It's a little bit of psychedelic soul. 
I love it. I love it. So I have to ask, because like I said earlier, right, it's been six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours since I've eaten. My energy's a little low. Your energy is on 1,000. As soon as you walked in the room. <laughs> you know, they call me Andre 5,000. Know. <laughs> as soon as you walked in the room, we all gravitated to your energy. Once you got behind the mic, like it was a wrap. What fuels this? Like, where, where do you get all of your oomph from? But like I said, the world is in a casual confusion, and I'm trying to wake up some people, you dig? Because everybody's rocking around with their eyes closed, and it's time to open them up, you dig? Yep. Except you got some beautiful eyes and eyelashes as well. Thank you so much. Let me get uh, this. So, so, wait, no, no, I'm not, oh wait. So, can we give him a round of applause? Because he's, like, dropping gems. And I also need y'all to wake up, so this is, this is good. Okay, so let the people know where they can follow you, where they can support you. You can go on to Napster or to uh, in finally MP3. No, um, we will. Act, we have been the real, authentic uh, artists who have been lying in under a rock in obscurity, mm -hmm. but we have just come out, and we are coming to uh, release another album. We dropped our first record in 1812, I believe, maybe like actually 2007. But we're trying to really stop being so casually confused and you know actually try to have a wider audience and uh, distribute we'll be working hard through this this winter <coughs> white knuckles on the road and uh we'll be having a new album if you can believe it coming this summer oh so coming real soon new album on the way and you said the last one was in 2007 oh you don't say it like that uh, no I, i'm not i'm not I'm, some sir, of these cats I, i'm not judging you, you i'm not know, judging you hey, at all. but listen sometimes when you just sit back and you observe you might you know, taking a lot of wisdom. So we've just been soaking it all in. Mm -hmm. It's time to rinse out this sponge. Yeah, and that's the dope thing about music. There's no rush. When y'all are ready, y'all are ready. Dig. Yes. Now go ahead and introduce yourself, sir. Uh, Tell us a well little bit about Colin your shirt. This is Hodges, everyone. Uh, right, he didn't even say his name, y'all. And uh, my name is Kenneth Winslow Gagne. I play bass in Casual Confusion and um, just love collaborating with other artists. Uh, one thing I will say about the uh, debut Casual Confusion album is it was really well received. Um, it actually was featured on Sons of Anarchy, if you guys remember oh, that wow, show. Oh, wow, that's amazing. And a few independent films uh, featured some songs from that album. So, um, you know, we've been writing music over the last several years, and we probably have about two and a half albums worth of music wow. that we can release, um, that we've recorded and written. So, you know, it's just a matter of, um, you know, uh, tapping out of everything that's going on in the world and tapping into, you know, what... I would say is you know part of our true purpose here on the planet, which mm -hmm. is to bring people together. Um, one thing I really enjoy is that anytime we go out and perform, we always you know meet different people, and they might have been having a bad day, a bad week, a bad month, a bad year, <laughs> and they come out and they listen to some music, and it just turns things around for people. So, um, you know, you don't always um, get a lot of credit for things or get recognition and things, but you know, just those instances where you can have a positive impact on someone mm -hmm. are really important. So, you know, we were happy that we had an opportunity tonight to play with you all and yeah. uh, just share, you know, our creative gifts. And, um, you know, thank you for interviewing us as well. Oh, yeah, of appreciate course. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I, I, thank you. I appreciate it. No, I'm not done with you, sir, Mr. Not Kennedy. Done with you I yet. was told that you were the go-to guy, so I have a lot of questions for you. But I won't hold you for too long. <laughs> but I have to ask, you all have both said that you've been around for almost – two decades, right? Almost 20 sure. years. So what's going to be some of the main differences between your first album and this album that's coming up in the summer? I would say the first album is um, is more rock oriented and this new album is still gonna be rock oriented, but I like to call it psychedelic funk, rock and soul. Mm -hmm. So it'll, it'll be kind of like, you know, Jimi Hendrix meets, you know, Parliament Funkadelic oh meets. James! Yeah. I'm glad you didn't <laughs> say that because it's a family James. friendly show, so I'm glad you didn't <laughs> say the last word. But Very yeah, cool. you know, we, it's all about the funk, man, and um, and about the soul, and and just um, you know, I would say that the subject matter of our songs has changed a little bit because we've just had a lot of experiences over the years. Mm -hmm. So you know, um, yeah, it, but it it will still be a a mix, a, a different genres, a blend of different genres. All right, and I see you rocking the T-shirt. You keep trying to hand the mic off, sir. I'm not. You're, we're ending the interview with you, so you can uh, just okay. I'll yeah, just hold so on I to see it. you rocking the T-shirt. Is there anywhere we can buy your merchandise? Yeah, catch us at a show. Um, you know, I got some T-shirts in the trunk, so if anybody's interested. I love it. I love it. A true know. hustler. A true hustler. And l also, let us know where we can follow and support Casual Confusion. Well, like Colin was saying, you can go to Napster.com and download or LimeWire. You know, our album's available there. Um, but we don't know seriously, um, we know what LimeWire <laughs> is. Yeah. But um, yeah, you know, we're on Apple Music, Spotify, all those kind of um, 
streaming services, and if you ever see us out and about, uh, we generally do have CDs for sale. I know some people use those for coasters, but um, you know, it's one of those things like sometimes you know you run across a CD in your glove box or something. It's like, yeah, I got to play this album. I haven't you know listened to it for a while, so we do have physical copies. We'll Here probably go. get some uh, vinyl printed at some point here. Absolutely. I'd like to steal the mic, and you know, she said that maybe I was way up here on 10, but I want to uh, send a salute to everybody on mental health awareness. You should have seen me on 20, you dig? Uh, so uh, shout out and peace to everybody who's ever struggling, and I know I'm with you. I love you, and we in there. Perfect. Well, that's a great way to end it. Let's give all these amazing artists a round of applause, y'all. Okay, let's, let's do that a little bit more. This is the last. Thank you. There you go. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Shakira, two times reporting live from the season finale of The Swedish Show in the Twin Cities. I'm so excited to be here. Anahita, if you're watching, we miss you, girl, but I got you. I'm holding it down. Uh, this episode has been amazing. We saw a bunch of live performances. We got to check out Simone Brown. Let's give her a round of applause. Yes, we got to check out Tila Shan. And we got to watch Casual Confusion. So thank you all. I also want to thank our sponsors, the National Endowment of the Arts. And again, you're watching the sweetest show in the Twin Cities. This is Candy Fresh. Candy Fresh.